Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your Love for Crest horoscope. And this is going to be April 1st to 7th. And for your weeklies, I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. All right, so we're going to be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life for April 1st to 7th? Show me the cards I need, you see? Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got April 1st, April 2nd, April 3rd, April 4th, April 5th, April 6th, April 7th. This is the love interest feelings. This is the block shillings and challenges, and this is the overall outcome. And I see that there is some issues around burdens and responsibility here with the Ten of Wands as the overall energy. So something is actually, something is about to be completed. Something is about to be accomplished here in your romantic love life with that 10 being there at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I see that the blockage or obstacle is some, some things to do with issues from before. Five of Cups is coming out. There's still the state of regrets and like, you know, someone's really dwelling on the past here with the Five of Cups energy. So let's keep going. And by the way, Virgo, if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to make a clear cut, okay? Because the day-to-day -day can sometimes be confusing because we're just looking at each day, but we're going we're gonna to do an overall understanding of the theme of the week, okay? So, and also we're going to be looking at your love interest feelings and more into the block shillings and challenges. Okay, so... It looks like on April 1st, there's going to be a decision that's going to be made. Okay, let's keep going. What is this decision? Someone has ulterior motives. That's what I feel like. They're coming off one way, but they're hiding something from you. Okay, so... And so the decision is being based on something that you don't have a full amount of information, okay? Just want you guys to know that, give you a heads up, that there's, there's something they're holding out on. Okay, so what's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life for April 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so in making this decision, it feels like there could be a sigh of relief, okay? What's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life April 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see the main person there. So there is somebody coming out as your main person. And there's a decision being based on that. Who do I want to be with? You're my main person. Okay, a choice is being made. What's going to have my Virgo's romantic love life for April 1st to 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I told you, someone's holding out. They're not seeing all the information. Okay, just be aware of that. Make, try and, don't, I, I, I feel like, well, we'll look at the advice at the end, but just hold out on making this decision because you don't have all the information. Okay, you're, they're holding back. Okay, so what's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life? April 1st to 7th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. It's got a message too. Hold on. So there's been this back and forth energy. That's what I, I feel like it's back and forth and back and forth. And some, it's like the it rolls of this, the ball rolls here and then the person rolls the ball back and then the ball rolls here and then the person rolls the ball back. So it's like back and forth energy. Okay. Yes. Cause there's concerns about the grass being greener on the other side. Mm hmm. Okay. So there's a lot of stress and worry here on the second. And there's a person that's really in despair here. There's like a lot of sleepless nights. I'm in despair about this situation. 
but you are about to receive a happy surprise. Okay. About some kind of commitment. What? Okay. And we see there was some kind of jealousy or a family may have been like, oh, you could do better, you know. I feel like a family is kind of intervening on a situation when it comes to you and somebody uh, around a commitment. And they're letting you know that you could do better than this person. You know, you deserve better. Okay, so let's keep going. So you got some good news coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be dealing with a younger uh, uh, or sign. For some of you guys, it doesn't have to be. Okay, but there's some good news coming in. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. Okay, so there's some good news coming in, which is going to bring some massive changes into your romantic love life. Okay? Okay, well, these are going to be big changes because you guys are going to be shocked by these changes. And let's make a note of the fact that the solar eclipse is coming up on, what, April 8th? Okay? And this solar eclipse is going to be like no other solar eclipse we've seen before, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading coming up like uh, uh, April 31st. So stay tuned for that. We're doing a live, me and Benita. So she's an astrologer. And we're going to talk about this solar eclipse. I'm going to bring up a lot of interesting things about it. So just stay tuned. But you guys are definitely getting hit with the tower card, which is solar eclipse kind of energy, right? We just got over the lunar eclipse. Now we're going into the solar eclipse. Let's see what's going on. There's going to be a shock and surprise about a friend, okay? About a friend. And we see some kind of social media stuff going on here or some spying happening here. Someone's watching someone from afar. They may be watching you from afar, but there's a person around you that wants to be more than just a friend, okay? Okay, they're interested. So let's keep going here, Virgo. It looks like this is going to be a very healing time for you because you got the Six of Swords energy. So you've been going through a lot of crap lately, okay? But now, this week, all of it's going to change because we got the Six of Swords showing me that you guys are now going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, you're going to overcome obstacles here in this depressive kind of energy here because there is deep love here. Somebody really wants to talk with you. There is somebody really in love with you, okay? We see love card here, love card here. Yes, there's feelings here. And we see that there is a other person or somebody you may have known from before, okay? Because this is the person that's popping up here, okay? So they may connect with you on social media for some of you guys, okay? And there's going to be some kind of communication coming in of like, hey, let's hang out, let's spend some time together, you know? And you're gonna find out that this person still has feelings for you okay so oh my goodness there is a divinely guided connection coming in here there is a twin flame soulmate card and there's a message you've been waiting on something's going to come together just be patient here surrendering to the situation yes there is an opportunity offer presenting itself this week, Virgo. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's keep going. So there could be some traveling on this day with the world card energy coming out. Okay, this is going to be what? April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Or some of you guys are gonna have a sense of accomplishment, completion here, okay? Something's coming full circle. Something's coming circle, coming full circle. You're gonna get a lot of attention on this day. Okay, mm -hmm. get ready for the attention here, okay? It looks like some of you guys, there's been somebody who's been doing some deep, heavy soul searching here about healing this connection. There we got again, this travel card energy. Some kind of traveling, some faraway energy, some distance here from this person. Okay, let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles is coming out saying that there's somebody who wants to invest some time in this connection. You're going to get some kind of letter, message, document, communication about some disappointments. I see. All right. Let's go to the next card here. Actually, the card, the next card is coming out. You're at a crossroads here. There is a proposal coming in. A proposal coming in. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's bring it all together. There is a, this choice being made. There's somebody who's really jealous. There's family members saying you deserve better. There's somebody watching you from afar, could connect with you on social media. This could be a person you've known from before. Okay. 
and I see that there is this letting go and being patient and we see that there's going to be somebody who could bring in some kind of travel proposal to you. Okay, it looks like a travel proposal. Uh, and this could be a wish come true here to kind of fix or heal the situation. Okay. And you can see that the person here around this is to do with a friend. Okay. So we see there was deceptions about a long-term commitment, commitment engage your marriage, or some somebody that's going to come back around is some yeah because ring card can talk about going around circles and um some repeating pattern there and we see a friendship here strong feelings an offer being presented to heal the situation and you're at a crossroads because you got to make a choice because you got more than one choice here okay i see at the bottom of the deck there's something about a relationship okay someone who feels bad wanting to bring things into balance okay so we see that the main person, someone sees you as the main person, there's going to be a happy surprise. You're going to be shocked and surprised about this love. This love situation that's coming this week, okay? There's a want to bring things together. And we see someone who is doing some deep, heavy soul searching, like the Hermit card energy, about these disappointments around the connection. Okay, going further. There's a want to have a sigh of release. Someone has a sense, I'm really desperate for some kind of change. I want to fix the situation. There's a message you've been waiting for. You're going to get a lot of attention and there's going to be a lot of communication going on here. Letter, message, document, paperwork, okay? Okay, potential signs of Baba's situation. I'm definitely seeing an, uh, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, okay? Okay, so and someone you may view as a twin flame. So I see that there is this choice being made. There's a lots of worries and concerns. There's good news coming in. You're overcoming obstacles or blockages when it comes to a divinely guided relationship, twin flame kind of relationship. There's the world card talks about traveling going on here. Someone who's far away is gonna to travel towards you. You're gonna to travel towards them or there's going to be a sense of accomplishment here because it's like, let's just give this time. Let's see where this goes. So there's a divinely guided connected relationship here, and there's going to be some time invested into that connection. Um, yeah, so let's find out what's gonna happen. As I told you, this, this is going to be a good week for you guys, because the ball is in your court now. You gotta make the decision here. Before, last couple weeks, it's been the other people involved with your romantic love life, but now, Virgo, you are the one in charge here. So your person, the love interest that you have, they want clarity. They see long-term emotional happiness with you. They don't know if they're gonna miss an opportunity or you're going to accept what they have to offer here with the Four of Cups energy. This person feels a sense of sadness and they want the sadness to end. There's concern about this money and finance situation. Your person wants to take a risk, leap of faith. There's a lot of spiritual signs here. They want to go out and date you, go out with you, spend time with you. Your person feels like there's a lot of delays and challenges in the connection, but they really want a happy outcome here. And they're ready to make some kind of abrupt decision, sudden decision, okay? So let's see what the obstacles and blockages. So obviously there's something about this choice this week and the choice, the obstacle or blockage is because of something from before or someone from before. And we see, yep, again, regrets is part of the obstacle or blockage this week. There's somebody around this situation that feels that they're, you're, you're their main person. There is a want to meet up and spend time together. Some kind of destined connection this week. And it seems like there needs to be a conversation taking place here. Because that's part of the obstacle or blockage. It's like proper communication. Okay. So as you can see, like the overall outcome saying, I'm confused. I have rosy colored glasses on. I don't know what to do. And again, it's very interesting because there's two wolves in this card 
And it looks like for me, again, there's choices being made because of the cycle, it's time. The moon for me talks about cycling cycles, right? And we just got over this lunar eclipse. So it's like there's something about this that's caused a state of confusion, something that needs to come to light, something that's hidden beneath the surface. But now I see that there's a blessing coming in for you guys. The timing is right with the Wheel of Fortune card energy. And there's something that involves marriage and long-term commitment here. Mm -hmm. I see that there is this loss of hope at first, but then this major, major change in your romantic love life. Shock and surprise, okay? Yep, surprise is the next card about this person asserting themselves and giving to the connection, okay? It looks like you're gonna receive some kind of gift, receive some type of invitation, you're going to be receiving some kind of appreciation, but yes, you're gonna be the one in control here. There's a little bit of stress and worry starting out, and we see because of this family confusion here, and it looks like more than one person is involved in the situation, which is causing some kind of confusion. We see there's something about this party, this celebration, but I see that the timing is right now. There's something about this person that you may have ghosted, they may have ghosted you, there may be some kind of rejection, concerns about that, but I see that there's, there's a person coming forward saying, I love you, I have feelings for you. There is worry and angst, worry and angst, yes, anxious energy, because somebody is coming in saying, I feel bad, I made a mistake, I messed up. And it's like, I don't want to lose you. I'm worried about this. There's going to be a lot of communication here. And spiritual signs. Oh my God. The tower card's coming out. Oh my God, again, you guys, this is a really rare reading for you guys because, oh my goodness, look how many tower cards you guys have. There is going to be some major, change, major life changes this week for you guys. Shock and surprise. Let's see the next card after that. About this house and home situation. And a secret crush. And someone's finally going to find the liquid courage here mm -hmm. towards a long-term commitment. What? What? Yes, Wheel of Fortune blessings coming in, Virgo. You're going to be uncertain what to do, but you're going to gain some kind of knowledge, book card energy about this person missing you, okay? There is a spiritual connection. This person's single and available to pursue. You're like, oh my goodness, they see me as the wisest decision. You're trying to get some advice. Oh my God, if you should reconcile or go for it with this person. Oh my goodness, okay. You know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. You got spiritual blessings coming in when it comes to a long-term commitment, okay? I told you, I told you. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Best advice for one of my Virgos when it comes to their highest, best good, the best possible come for them. What should they do when it comes to their romantic love life? April 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's take a look here. Virgo would say believe in the impossible this week. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy for you guys. You have a win-win outcome forecasted for a relationship and a new cycle's coming in. So I told you guys, you guys, the, the choice, the ball is in your court this time, Virgo. This is your choice. What do you want to do? Do you want to go back to the past or do you want to move forward to the new cycle here? Okay. Okay, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.